Language of Caring helps healthcare organizations achieve an unparalleled patient experience and a culture of caring through exceptional communication. We all subscribe to wanting to be a family-centered institution and where we struggle sometimes is what does that mean in day-to-day -day practice? You can't just say you're family-centered, you have to live it every single day. Language of Caring resonated so much with the work that we were already leading with family-centered care. I, it just, it gave us a framework that bundled everything we've been teaching and everything that we've been trying to do. It pulled it together in a curriculum that was easy to deliver, easy to understand. That's what Language of Caring gave us. It gave us an opportunity to say all these things we've been teaching, let's pull it all together and here it is in a snapshot. And, and it worked. So we, we love it. We started in our ambulatory network actually, um, which is unusual, usually everything happens on the main campus first. Um, and we started in the ambulatory network and we trained all of the site managers and medical directors. Every single one of those managers, we have over 30 sites across the region, came back and said, we need to get this to our staff now. It was no longer, hey, we're doing this and this is rolling out a mandate. Everybody walked away feeling like this is something that I can tangibly give to my staff that when they hear this, they're gonna be able to implement this. So we went out to talk to the different site managers to say, help us understand the population of patients who really come to your clinic. Help us understand what are some of the challenges. In some of the, the areas, it was that we have parents who would show up and demand to be seen right there in, on the spot. And the staff at the front desk felt really just not well equipped to have a clear and comfortable conversation with a family member. They felt bullied. They felt that they couldn't say no. They felt that they were, if they held the line and said no to the parent, that the doctor would come flying in around the corner and say, come on in. And so there really was not that cohesion and there wasn't that clear language that helped staff navigate those, those conversations with families. And so we went out to those sites, we, we role played those exact experiences. We had the docs, we had the nurses, we had the frontline staff. Everybody was there with us and hearing the same message. And you could see the light bulbs going off. Everyone was saying, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that I was undermining the front desk. I thought I was just accommodating the parent. Um, and so all of a sudden people started to see all the different angles that goes into care and how they need to be unified and how they need to have consistent conversations with patients and families and with one another. And that I think was really great in terms of our implementation. It was that it got everybody engaged. It didn't leave anyone behind. It was just not for docs, just not for nursing, not for social work, it was for everybody. Um, and it's communication skills. Everybody uses communication skills. Um, so it was great and when we had such success in our ambulatory network, uh, other people across the hospital started to hear about this more. Um, our IS department asked to have this. I mean, you're, many people are like, why would IS want this? But they wanted it because they wanted to make sure they were having effective communication with all of their clients. So it rolled out through our IS team, it rolled out to a lot of our different clinical divisions. Everybody heard about it, wanted it. I'm enthusiastic about it because it works. And we've seen it, you know, I think people want to see outcomes. And we've seen some outcomes in our patient satisfaction scores. Um, in certain areas in the ambulatory networks, we saw um, an increase in patients' ratings in terms of their overall experience working in those centers. It's not, to me, it's not about those scores. We could talk about outcomes all the time. It is about making sure your staff can say, I feel confident and comfortable communicating with families. And so, to me, the, the internal benchmark, I guess, or the outcome we were looking for was for our staff to say, I feel engaged and I feel comfortable and I feel able to do my job easier. They're not changing anything that they're doing. All of the clinical needs are the same. It's how they do what they do that has made all the difference. And, and people will say, I now feel very comfortable talking with that mom. Before I would go into the break room and hide because I just didn't want to talk to her. And now they're, they are saying, I know how to do it. Before when our staff was taking negative interactions very personally, they stopped and they said, this isn't about me. This is because a mom is really afraid and really scared for their child. And it, it really changed the dynamics on the team. So we have people who are much more engaged. They're feeling much more confident in their roles. Um, and what we're also seeing, so not only did we see kind of our ratings go up, but we also saw an increase in our families getting engaged and involved in their care differently, which means as providers, we were setting the stage to say, please work with us. Um, and that's, that's what happened with the language of caring. When we started to say, I know you're so invested in your child's well-being, help us you know, come up with a better care plan. 
patients and families were saying things to us that they have not been saying before because we changed the conversation. We keep track of our safety events. And when you look at some of our safety scores, um, we, we tracked it over a short period of time, a couple of months, and we noticed usually it's nurses and doctors who report safety events. We had over 90 families catch safety errors, potential safety errors, because they felt comfortable talking to a clinician and saying, that does not work for us. I think that is the most powerful thing, is when families say, I felt comfortable because you held me in positive regard, you invited me into the conversation, you invited me to the table, and I'm just as invested in keeping my child safe as you are. Let's do this together. You can feel it when you walk into the clinics and you feel um, the level of engagement and you feel the comfort of staff who are working together in a very different way than they had previously. And it's every single person who has had contact with this. And it's, it's great because it's really taken its own, it's taken flight and it's just been great and helped us push you know, the envelope in terms of really being family centered. We're all helpers. We all want to get into this to do something great and there's probably no better way to do it than if we really all have great communication skills and can engage with patients and families. You know, at some of the scariest, worst moments of their life, we have an opportunity to be at our best. And so when we have those opportunities, we have to help people be at their best and we got to equip them with these skills. Most of us who are in these roles recognize you can't just have a flash in the pan gimmick that you kind of sell out there and it suddenly increases the way people engage with you and partner with you. It, is, it takes real hard work and you have to do it in a way that is really, you focus on the fundamentals and you implement something that staff can grab onto. And I, don't, I haven't found anything that staff have grabbed onto and said, this just makes sense other than language caring.